Before the video starts I would recommend the Holy Bible to read at the end of video please check out the link in the description. God is saying today. You are the target of the adversary's efforts to cut you off from the crucial resources that will lead you to breakthrough, and they are attempting to isolate you. Consequently, I urge you, my darling, to examine the spirits that are in your immediate vicinity. A genuine capacity for discernment is not motivated by skepticism or doubt that is disguised as religious acts. Rather, it is founded on love, which is capable of freeing one from any fear. It is a love that is flawless in every way, an unconditional love that gives your weary spirit a place to rest. I invite you to enter into the rest that I have worked so hard to build for you. In order to move forward with this process, it is essential to forgive those individuals whom you harbor resentment toward. You should let go of those people whom you have unfairly judged in your mind. Always keep in mind, dear one, that every single person on earth is susceptible to evil, and that wickedness may be seen in every single action. Here at the foot of the cross, however, I offer you the opportunity to be cleansed and redeemed. There, I will set you free and lead you to a place where you will be cleansed in a way that is both renewed and vigorous. Put an end to the need to be right and let go of the need for justice that is not in accordance with the standards that I have established for my kingdom. Please hand over these responsibilities to me, and I will take care of them for you. I have come to be with you, prepared to reveal the lies that the adversary has been telling you and to guide you into a life filled with triumph and blessings. You may put your faith in me, you can rely on me, and you can let me lead you through each and every step of your path. In the process of forgiving others and letting go of your troubles at the cross, you will find the rest and freedom that you have been seeking. Through our combined efforts, we will triumph over the schemes of the adversary and walk in the fullness of the life that I have prepared for you. I am aware of your heart, and I am able to comprehend the anxiety and terror that you are experiencing as a result of the unpredictability of the future. Because you live in a fallen environment, you should be aware of this. As the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of arrogant, fallen mankind all around you, you will be confronted with problems and hurdles that may appear to be insurmountable. Nevertheless, I want to reassure you that your tomorrows are taken care of by capable individuals. Because I am the all-powerful God who rules the universe, I have complete authority over everything, including your life. Everything that is happening in your life is within my reach, and I have the ability to handle it, bring about a change, and bring about deliverance. Have faith in me. Raise your voice to me. Pray with your mouth alone. I am working on a positive plan for your future, even though it is possible that you are unable to perceive it right now. I am a God who is wealthy and full of life, and I want to provide you with the very best. Raise your heart's confidence. Keep your head held high. You should have very high expectations. Have huge dreams and have faith that I can do anything. My word is the one you should turn to when your hopes are destroyed and distractions are all around you. It offers direction and insight, acting as a model for your life and providing you with direction. My word should be reflected upon, and you should allow it to mold your aspirations for the future. It is important to keep in mind that this is not the time to simply wait. You have already been provided with all that is necessary for you to be successful. At this point, it is up to you to take action and guarantee that my words will be carried out. You are going to see incredible outcomes as a result of your perseverance and confidence in me. I do not have any respect for individuals. What I have done for other people, I am more than capable of doing for you. In your life, there is no reason to be hesitant about believing that I am capable of accomplishing great things. Put your faith in my ability to alter you and in my love for you, 
and you will witness great changes. Always keep in mind that I am in charge, even when you are confronted with ambiguity or challenges. Having faith in my plan, having high hopes, and acting in accordance with my word are all important. You have a great future ahead of you, and with my direction, you will be able to triumph over any obstacles that occur in your path. This day, the Father says, I am with you, I am living within you. I am all around you, enveloping you with my favor, love, protection, and direction especially while you are going through a difficult moment. I am aware that you are dealing with a lot of difficulties. Uncertainty and upheaval are present in many facets of your life, including your family situation and other aspects of your existence. Remember that I am here with you at all times, and do not let the facts slip your mind. I am your God, and I will never abandon or neglect you in any way. Draw on my boundless strength and refuse to become involved in the situation by relying on your own understanding and resources. In the middle of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my strength. Refrain from succumbing to the urge to be fearful or disheartened on any occasion. Keep in mind that I have already triumphed over the entire world. In addition, because I am a part of you, you have triumphed over the entire universe. Before the video continue I request you to join my channel for my financial help or you can help by super thanks. My primary objective is to divert your attention away from you. He understands that if he is able to divert your attention, he will be able to prevent you from carrying out my will. Nevertheless, I want to reassure you that I am here to serve as a guide and to give you protection. It is time for you to pray to me whenever you are feeling lost or confused. I am going to give you directions. In addition, I will provide you with power whenever you are feeling weak and disheartened. Your exhaustion should be surrendered to me. In the face of success, you should never become frustrated or impatient. In spite of the fact that circumstances are challenging, you should not give up on walking in my simplicity. It is possible that those in your immediate environment would attempt to convince you that in order to be spiritual, you must be sophisticated and complex. On the contrary, I want to reassure you that this is not the case. Simpleness is your piece of the meal. Your salvation lies in finding simplicity. I am a straightforward savior who possesses all the answers you require to experience the ease of the yoke and the lightness of the weight that I have placed in front of you. You should come as a young youngster. Allow me to surround you with my arms. Permit me to fill you with the love and tranquility that I own. Be aware that I am always here for you, regardless of the circumstances you are going through. Currently, the Father is advising you to prioritize being in my presence. As you make a resolute and deliberate decision to prioritize the pursuit of the kingdom over all other considerations, I will abundantly bless your life with the things that your heart yearns for. It may appear to be a work of fiction, but it is not. It is the reality of living and breathing and having your existence bordered by and surrounded by my glory, power, and kingdom strength. I have a great plan for you, which is full with joy and blessings that may look like fiction. It is my intention to lead you into a condition of abundant fulfillment, one in which your most profound aspirations and wishes are brought into existence on a daily basis. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness, and this is the essence of our connection, my child. I am your God. Put aside any theological misunderstandings or uncertainties that may have been preventing you from believing in the promises that I have made. It is impossible to limit the extent of my goodness when it comes to you because I am a good God. You should let rid of your weak plans and ideas because they are fruitless attempts to fathom how I will bring about the great things that I have in store for you. I encourage you to find peace and comfort in me instead. 
You need only give yourself over to my care and protection. I want to tell you that, I've got this, today, so let it be a day filled with praise and joy. It is no longer acceptable for you to accept a life that is merely average. Let go of the mindset that you are waiting for something bad to occur, for I am here to reassure you that nothing and no one, not even the devil himself, can take away the gifts that my love that is unconditional has in store for you. These blessings are waiting to be bestowed upon you. Simply due to the fact that you are my cherished child, these blessings are bestowed upon you without any conditions attached. Put your faith in me, my child, and go ahead and experience the completeness of the life that I have planned for you. This life is filled to the brim with the limitless love, serenity, and joy that I possess. Your loving Father, I am dedicated to seeing you flourish and experiencing the wonderful life that I have crafted just for you. I am devoted to seeing you experience this life. Please accept this reality, my kid, and allow it to direct your actions in every way. You are being called up into a realm of perfect love by the Father, who states that timidity and fear are leaving you today. Instead, boldness, audacity, and faith that is not feigned are calling you up into this place. Since love never fails, you will not fail. It is clear to you, my lover, that pure love makes all fears vanish. I am the one who has brought perfect love into every facet of your life via the work that I have done on the cross. The commitment that you have made to me is being perfected by means of this love that is in perfect harmony. Let rid of any expectations you have in your heart that are in conflict with the promises I have made. You can put your faith in me because I am guiding you toward the realization of the aspirations and ambitions that are deepest within your heart. No, I have not rejected you, nor have I excluded you, nor have I denied you. I have not said no. It is imperative that you make the decision to break free from the shackles of baseless fear and to refuse to allow it to exert any influence on your life. It is only the beginning of a period of enormous fruitfulness that I have brought forth in your life through the accomplishments that I have brought out in the past. Are you prepared to have a catch that is so plentiful that the nets couldn't possibly hold enough of it? What are you prepared to do in order for your words and deeds to carry the same power as if I were to speak and act? You are on the verge of a new entitlement, a fresh experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. You are standing on the brink of this promise. The manifestation of these entitlements can be seen in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your financial situation. Embrace this season, go for it with courage, and take pleasure in the abundance that life has to offer. I am sending out my blessings, my share that is worthy of being received, and they are intended for you to accept them. Maintain your faith, because when you spend your faith, you are making an investment in the money of the kingdom, which is a currency that is superior to anything that can be obtained via worldly means. It is important to keep in mind that I am constantly at your side, and that I will never abandon or abandon you. My dear child, this is a moment filled with blessings. Accept it completely, because it is yours to begin with. You can put your faith in me because I am dependable and will make all that I have promised to come to pass in your life. From the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, the Father says that a magnificent transition is coming to your life, like a whirling dance of growth and discovery. This declaration comes from the place where I am experiencing my glory. Even as Adam and Eve experienced my following when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day, I am walking in the garden of your inner man so that you may find me and seek me and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my definite will. My word is coming to a place in your spirit that is amplification, and I am doing this right now. A sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, 
will start to penetrate your life. This sound will begin to permeate your experience. During the course of your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage in which they heard my voice walking in the calm of the day. In the same way, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit, which I have made as my dwelling place. Therefore, delve deeper so that you might comprehend this as the sound of my wind and my message whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have imbued you with a spirit that vibrates, much like a tuning fork, and I have done this consciously. At this critical juncture in your life, I have made the decision to move closer to you and pull the strings of your inner man. I want my sound, my voice, and my song to emerge, to be known, and to set many people free with the freedom that I, with this day, make you free. Because of this, you will be able to hear my sound and, in turn, you will be able to emanate my sound. Furthermore, the consequences of miracles and prayers that are answered will be tangible. In the same way that certain sounds have the ability to break glass or elicit physical responses, you will be able to let go of burdens that have been clinging to you, which will result in significant changes in your presence. You must get yourself ready, my dearly loved kid, because when you walk into a room, others will give you attention. There are even situations in which a person who appears to be in control but is actually dealing with a demonic stronghold would experience a physical reaction that attracts the attention of everyone in the vicinity. Recognize that this is a chance, since devils are similar to children who are misbehaving and looking for attention. By obeying a straightforward instruction from you, shut up and come out, you will reveal the divine power that I possess. It is time for my hand to make its presence known in your life in a way that is remarkable and potent. You should not be startled if these extraordinary experiences take place outside of the typical settings of a church. They may occur as you go about your daily activities, simply being yourself. You will be accompanied by an angel of change, who will bring about transformations in people who are in your immediate vicinity. Additionally, you will carry the brilliance of my glory, while in the past there was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father has spoken to us today, saying, I am working on your past, present, and future in a comprehensive manner. My spirit is actively working in your history, bringing freedom and healing to every damaged area of your life that has been caused by the abuses and fractures that occurred in other parts of your existence. God has observed that you have experienced feelings of insecurity and that you have felt unsafe even in your own skin. Be certain that I am worried and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, settling the disputes, and stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every element of your existence, including your heart, mind, and trust. I understand the need for emotional stability, so you may rest confident that I am concerned about you. God assures you that you are safe and secure, you are safe and secure in my hands. You should tell yourself, I am safe, whenever you sense panic and anxiety take control of your body. I believe that I am safe in the capable hands of my Father. It is possible that the adversary, the circumstance, and the scenario may churn and boil around you to the point where it appears that everything is lost, yet, darling, you should be confident that nothing and no one can pull you out of my loving care. As a result of the fact that your life is concealed within me, sheltered and insulated from the difficulties and uncertainties of the world, the adversary is blinded, just as those who groped to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are attempting to obtain access, but I have blinded their goals and turned them against each other instead. This is done so that you will not have to fight them, but rather see their departure from your life as a result of their mistaken efforts. There is a time for you to soar, a time for you to fly, according to the Father. In the same way that a bird in flight is encased in a bubble of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness, 
You are climbing in worship so that you can drop in battle and see the complete defeat of the adversary in every aspect of your life. Who is it? Please forgive them. It is okay. Let go of it. God bless you. Continue on. Even though there will be times when other people let you down, you can have peace of mind knowing that you will not be robbed because your trust is securely anchored in the anointing of Christ, which is my presence that dwells inside you. The Father encourages you to have self-assurance and confidence. Knowing that my embrace and protection pervade every aspect of your life will allow you to have a profound sense of rest and to live with complete assurance. Right now is the time for you to discover the freedom that comes with discovering who you are in me. As you proceed with your adventure, keep in mind that the vows I made cannot be broken. Your uncertainties should be questioned, and you should accept my sure word, which has been sent out over you by the prophets. With the knowledge that you are rooted in my unchanging love, you can enjoy the benefits of healing, of restoration, and security. Your history does not determine who you are, rather, it serves as a testament to the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with the things that are necessary to alter your entire life. You should walk with self-assurance and joy today, as well as every day going forward, knowing that your life is concealed inside me and that I will never let you down. Before the video ends I would recommend the Holy Bible to read, please check out the link in the description.